Hey, good evening, everybody. This is uh, Mike here, Mike's other page. It's our five o'clock somewhere tropical update. Not a weather update, tropical update tonight. We got tropical depression number seven today. And uh, we're going to do a quickie here on YouTube. I hope you like it. If you do, subscribe and uh, share and comment, and we'll get our numbers up, man. I really appreciate the support here. Um, this is Hunter. We did the old hat on Louie yesterday, so I figured it was fitting to do it on Hoot hooter on uh hunter tonight hooters <laughs> I, I love hooters all right so here's what we got this is a uh, travel depression number seven it kind of popped up quick we were talking about it this morning uh there it is above me looks really good on uh satellite the nhc is not saying it's a uh, tropical storm yet it would be fiona the next name that's right shrek's wife i think that was shrek's wife she's an ugly old gal <laughs> that's the next name on the list um but yeah, this, this storm has defied a lot of obstacles along the way. It came off of Africa. It was surrounded by a lot of dust. A lot of, uh, a lot of people wrote it off. And, and it's always maintained a, a tight little core. And uh, here we go. This is the latest track. Uh, a couple things to note on this. Uh, the NHC isn't expected to get any bigger than a uh, tropical storm. Puts it uh, over the, the islands um, this Friday night, Saturday. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, the northern lesser Antilles. You're definitely going to be watching this thing. Uh, could pass over Hispaniola uh, latter part of the weekend and early next week. That's the official track. Uh, still, I said it earlier, just watch for any last second intensification. This thing is going to be entering uh, an enhanced phase of the uh, MJO along with uh, the ocean heat content's extremely warm. So, you know, it's tricky. Uh, you never go against the official forecast, but I could see this thing surprising uh, maybe a little bit on approach. Um, where it goes from here, we're going to go into that. There's, there's a, there's a, a flip-flopping going on back and forth. You know, weaker west, uh, stronger kind of north. So we're still at that same crossroads we were last night. Um, there's nothing definite past this four- or five-day mark. Even the NHC is talking about that. All right, here's the latest tracks on uh, Tropical Tidbits. These are your 18Z. You can do see a majority of these are passing over almost all the islands in a, a slow turn north. So these are your, you know, main operational style runs and, uh, you know, confidence is kind of high that it's going to bend northward. These are your latest models on that. Uh, a little bit here, you can take a look at it. This is your uh, satellite, evening satellite. Definitely getting that look, looking pretty spinny out there. Um, very impressed with the convection. This is all on weathernerds.org, but uh, man, it's just, it's just been really fire and constant convection. It's definitely organizing, in my opinion. Uh, looking at things like uh, structure here, the surface level winds, a lot of spinach. The uh, 850 and 500 earlier are still displaced a little bit. There's where your 500 is. Here's where your 850. So it's not completely um, lined up yet for you know really fast intensification. And this represents a lot of wind shear. Uh, when you have a lower level winds here, and then you turn around and you hit the 500, means that the upper level structure of the storm is being blown up off a little bit from wind shear. Um, this is one of the maps we use for wind shear. Our system uh, is entering this general area uh, right here, and uh, you can see the uh, increased colors is increased wind shear. So it's going to have to pass through that uh, brief little stint here of wind shear. Uh, so not the most ideal conditions in the short term. Um, here's one map here. This is our dust map. I love showing this on our daily brew in the morning. The uh, on the 10th, let me rewind it here, just three days ago, our system was uh, coming off of Africa, and about right here, you can see, well, you can't see, because <laughs> it's not there, uh, almost void of all convection, a lot of dry air, everybody figured it was done, and, and boom, out of nowhere, it got a little life left in it, started bringing up some convection, this is where we're at now, and as you can see, the dust is starting to uh, become less of an issue, this is dust and dry air, not all just dust, but... Here's where we're at right now. So there's a little bit of convection out in front of it. Uh, so it's, you know, this got my attention. This is not our system, but it's helping uh, pave the way here for uh, TD7. Uh, so the conditions aren't as bad as they were a few days ago. Um, models. Here, let's take a look at your Euro ensembles. Now, the uh, overnight Euro ensembles, yesterday the Euro was a weak system kind of going towards Bahamas and Florida. Overnight, it was a strong system. Almost every ensemble curved it away from the U when I, uh, continental U.S. Um, some were impacting the Bahamas, but overnight, almost all the Euros switched to a recurve. And, you know, we talk about this classic windshield wiper um, flip-flopping of models and talked about it today in our Daily Brew. Well, 
if you go and check out the latest 12Z ensembles here, you can see you know good support that our system's going to be crossing over a lot of land. This is through the weekend, and then you know it's back to kind of split again. Um, you know, yeah, majority of them are pulling to the north, but we're starting to see quite a few now dipping south. Mm -hmm. A weaker system, you know, Hispaniola is known for tearing apart tropical systems. Um, if this thing gets tore up over the mountains and, and remains weak, it, it could go a little bit more west. And uh, so, you know, not we're not at 100% that this thing is going to completely miss continental U.S. right now. So, uh, a lot of people thought because the overnight euros pretty much, you know, every ensemble was missing the U.S. Now we're back to a few. So this far away, you know, we see these uh, model shifts and uh, flip-flopping. Now the GFS... Kind of showing the same scenario. Uh, weaker goes west, stronger goes north. Uh, the GFS did have one going here, but you can see the majority of ensembles are not doing that. But kind of gives you an idea. Stronger curves north, weaker goes west. Um, main operational runs here on uh, Tropical Tidbits tonight. Uh, TropicalTidbits.com. Here's your latest GFS. Here's our system approaching the islands. All that's the same. We know that's coming. There's going to be a lot of rain. The latest GFS pulls it north and here's that little turn the thing that i'm starting to notice here is that the end of the run regardless we're starting to see that high pressure blocking uh i'm going to show you the euro uh even the nhc is talking about this being a race uh a faster moving slower system might feel more of a high pressure enabling more of a west mm -hmm. track so it's been the theme all along the faster our system goes it appears it would have less likely to recurve in a weaker system uh, and you can start to see that with the gfs starting to feel that high pressure to the north and uh, curving a little bit you know kind of towards land there latest euro uh interesting here we're starting to see that curve north developing over the bahamas and starting to do this weird little loop de doop thing look at that high pressure right here so you know, we kind of seen that in the past. You know, who knows if that would actually, you know, keep on coming back around. But it's 10 days from now. Uh, any any potential, you know, Bahama impact, we're talking, this is next week. This is next Wednesday. The GFS, this is, uh, oh, it's uh, 18th, you just started running. Uh, next Wednesday would be here. So we're, we're talking Wednesday next week somewhere in this general area. That's only seven days from now. And, of course, the latest Canadian, uh, Canadian, builds in that ridge a little higher to the north or a little stronger a little bit more to the east and it been consistently showing our system blocked and uh, going more into the gulf even clipping florida so you know and going back to the the euro uh ensembles here you know we can look at them really good here on weather nerds um you can see this fanning out here happening uh pretty much this whole fanning out here is uh on the euro plate so uh, you know we got a lot to watch there's, there's nothing guaranteed right now um we do know that the islands we have a lot of followers down there watch for some big time rain um this thing has got you know environmental conditions could enable this thing to possibly intensify i'm saying i've seen the h wharf model really show hurricane it's bouncing around so don't take your eyes off this thing uh once it starts nearing the islands and it, and, and second lastly here we're still seeing that african wave coming on off off of africa imagine that Our african wave off of africa uh and that's starting to show up here uh still um so we could still be looking at another wave this one hasn't even really left africa yet but it is showing up but that's it td7 uh could be fiona tonight or in the morning the nac saying um and, and let me let me look at the uh h wharf just one time here because it is a really good intensity model the uh couple runs ago it showed something pretty pretty strong and then uh the latest one it did not so let's take a look at the latest um h wharf and see what we got here i think it might be running now actually the 18 no it's still running so hey look at that kind of peaked it up a little bit so that's what i'm talking about so just keep an eye on it that's that's the um that's the 12z h wharf and uh it's showing a potential trouble depression seven possibly hurricane you know and the timing again you know would be uh towards the weekend so you don't don't write it off completely that this couldn't be a little bit stronger uh, I, i've seen the h wharf be a really good model um for intensity so there we go all right i kept it under 10 minutes remember like it share it appreciate it we'll be live tomorrow for the daily brew 
at 919 Eastern right here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great night. Bye-bye.